Hey guys, welcome to another lesson on trigonometry. Uh, this would be the second lesson. So hopefully you would have done the first lesson which gives you a brief explanation on what the trigonometric ratios are. And now using that we're going to find an unknown angle in a right angle triangle. So if you can see this right angle triangle, if I label if I give you the length of two of the sides, if I said this side here is five centimeters and this side down the bottom here is uh, six centimeters and I wanted to know what theta is. I want to know the size of the angle theta. How will we find it? Well here is where we can use the trigonometric ratios so let's label the sides so we know that this side is the opposite side and this side is the hypotenuse and this side is the adjacent uh, so from there we can write out our Sokotoa equation and what you need to do is from the three equations from the three ratios we're gonna pick one that reflects the problem that we have. And we can see that this problem does not involve the hypotenuse, so we're going to cross that out. So it involves opposite and adjacent, and out of the three ratios, only the tangent ratio involves the opposite and the adjacent. So we're going to write out the tangent equation, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And then what we're going to do is substitute the numbers that we have, which are 5 and 6, into our two variables. So tangent theta equals 5 over 6. And now we have theta, which is the only unknown variable in the equation, and we can solve it. So what you do to solve it is you write theta equals and now we're going to do uh, we're going to move the tangent function to the other side of the equal sign by doing an inverse tangent function and don't worry about what it means I will show you soon on the calculator so basically by doing the tan inverse on the other side of the equal sign you have moved the tangent variable to the other side and we have isolated theta so now we know that tangent inverse bracket 5 over 6 is the input for the inverse tangent function and if we simply type this in the calculator we get to find out what theta equals so on the calculator you need to make sure that your calculator says degrees and you're going to put in inverse tangent you're going to put inverse tangent uh, bracket 5 over 6 bracket equals and you can see that the answer is 39.8 degrees so we have just found the unknown angle in this triangle Now I want you guys to try and find theta in this unknown triangle. Have a go and come back when you're done. So the first thing, first thing we're going to do is label the sides. So we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side. And out of the Sokotoa equation, only cosine deals with adjacent and hypotenuse. So we write out the cosine ratio equals adjacent over hypotenuse and we substitute the numbers into the equation. So cosine theta equals 6 over 20. And now we rearrange the equation to make theta the subject by doing an inverse cosine function on the other side. So inverse cosine bracket 6 over 20 equals and put that in your calculator so inverse 
cosine, bracket, what was it, 6 over 20, put that in your calculator, and you have 72.5 degrees, and that is the answer. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on how to find an unknown angle in a right angle triangle given two sides using trigonometry. See you next time.